Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. So today I'm going to show you how to use the head part of your yam. Usually one would discard it, but you can tell that it's discoloring already um, just when I peeled it. So to my blender, I've added two cloves of garlic and some cassoa pepper. What is this woman up to? You have to watch. Because usually the head of the yam is quite tough and it's harder, um, one doesn't actually use it as much. But I ended up creating a recipe with it and I loved it. As usual, I could not hesitate to share this recipe with you. And I hope you're inspired to try it as well. Definitely, you do need a very good blender for this. I'm using Vitamix. You can also use Ninja Bullet, which works impeccably well. For that sweetness, I'm adding one large onion to this mixture because that's just going to add that lovely sweet flavor to it. And to that one egg yolk that's just going to make it richer and just so it's best to use the blender reason is it aerates the mixture it makes it fluffy you end up with beautiful bubbles this is the part that if you haven't clicked the subscribe button then you do so and if this is your first time of watching this channel you welcome and thank you very much so look at these beautiful bubbles it's just light and aerated and just so now the next thing i'm going to add is my corn starch this is going to help bind everything together of course this is gluten free yet again yes <laughs> and i am going to mix everything together till it's well combined now i will leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dubaifafa.blogspot.com so do check it out and i'll leave the link in the description box below next is my baking powder because i want this to be fluffy as i mentioned earlier the head part of the yam tends to be dense so i just need it aerated of course so this is optional but equally important now i have melted some organic cold pressed coconut oil and i've added that to my mixture and i'm just going to mix everything together till it's well combined as i always say so you can see that i'm building up on the flavors mm -hmm. cool. Right, now do you remember the Kobe stock, which is the salted fish stock that I made, yes, in a jelly-like form because it's in the fridge. I've melted it and I'm adding that flavor to my quiche. Yes, I guess it's the first time that I've mentioned what actually I'm making <laughs> is the Ndujubai for first version, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm going to mix this together. Now I've got my finely diced red pepper onion and spring onions as well so these are going to add the added texture and of course their flavor to my quiche at this point i'm going to preheat my oven to 180 degrees because we are going to be baking this bad girl later mm -hmm. But of course, let me just add some more flavors to it. So I've just got my shredded cheddar cheese here. And I'm just adding that to the mixture. Now in the absence of that, you can use the Ghanaian Wagashi, which is the Ghanaian cheese. It's incredible. Equally, I mean, it would not melt, but it would add that extra texture and also flavor to the dish. Now you'd notice I have omitted salt from this recipe. Reason is the salted Kobe, of course, is salted, so it has the salt in there. And also the cheese has a good level amount of salt in there, so you don't need to salt it. I have just added some finely diced green chilies for that little kick. You know what I mean? Yes, I do like my kicks. <laughs> and I'm mixing everything together till it's well combined, as I always say. So you've got the cheddar cheese, you've got everything here, the onions, the red peppers. You think I'm done. Oh, no. So I went to Sainsbury's and I do love 
the slightly smoked salmon. So I got a pack and I've just used one of the salmon and I've just, you know, just cut it lengthways. You can dice it whichever way you prefer. And I've just added that to my mixture. Now the smokiness and the amazing flavor of this smoked salmon is just going to make this incredible. In the absence of that, you can use the grilled Ghanaian mackerel, which locally is known as salmon, but it is mackerel. And that works perfectly fine. <laughs> did I just say perfectly fine? Yes, I did. Anyway, so let's mix this beauty together. Look at that in Dudu in a pot. Mm -hmm. And of course, you do know Ndudu means food. Food in the other language from Ghana. Absolutely. Anyway, so now that I've done this, I did have a little bit of evaporated milk left. So I just added about two tablespoons full. You can use any milk of your choosing. Um, it's optional. And um, yeah, absolutely, you can use coconut milk as well if you are lacto um, intolerant. And now I'm just going to add my freshly milled black peppercorns for that je ne sais quoi. I've got my silicon um, baking tray here that I have greased with a little bit of avocado oil. And I'm transferring my beautiful mixture into it. Because I think we need to bake this and cook this, yes. But not until I actually sprinkle it with a little bit of cheese. I'm so cheesy like that. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just say that? Of course. Yeah. At this point, I had some dried thyme left. So let me just sprinkle this thing over it. You know, it's optional. And I placed it in the oven, baked it for 25 to 30 minutes. And then voila, look at this beauty. Now I'm going to show you how the bottom part is. Now, this is just incredible. Look at that. Yes, we've made our little quiche using the head of the yam. There is no waste in the kitchen at all whatsoever. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's interesting. And you've got like the salmon pieces that is like, they, they just stuck together, didn't they? I want to share Ben's or no, no. Anyway, but yeah, this is a recipe I created on the whim. And so, yeah, let's see how this goes but not after I decorate it, because that's how I like it. So I just drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top, you know, and it goes with the cheddar cheese anyway. Mm -hmm. And then I had chopped some coriander and spring onions in a chunky manner, and just sprinkled all over the surface of my quiche, may I say. And to that, I also sprinkled a little bit of um, red um, chili flakes. Yeah. And I think it's almost done. Is your mouth watering? Now, I'll tell you something about this dish. It has served me perfectly this week because it is part of my packed lunch. You know, I just cut a slice, take to work, warm it up, and it's just incredible. Or I can even enjoy it cold. Yes, look at that. This is not any other food. This is in Dudu by Fa Fa. Look at the flavor. Look at what the yam head has done. Hey. Mujinanya <laughs> Oh, no, 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 and the notification button, which means each time I do upload a video, you are notified of it. And you do not miss a thing. Look at this beauty. Hey, look at the ahumushishe salmon. <laughs> and look how nice and fluffy it is. It's almost like mashed yam that you've just mixed. That's just, yeah. And it is, actually. It's just flavor-packed. Look at the onion. Look at the speck of the red peppers in there. Look at this. Is your mouth watering? Mm-hmm.
Naturally, I'll leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in Dudu by Fafan.blogspot.com. So do check it out. I'm also on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter as in Dudu by Fafa. So do pass by and say hi. Noel, thank you very much for my theme song. And until next time, beautiful people, me love you for you. Take care of you.